radioactive, active radio. Rats in my room, I am bothered by those rats in my room. Oh, those crazy little rats in my room, wish that they'd go away. I'm 10 years old. Listening to Joey Reynolds on WPOP Radio, 1410, and these words, rats in my room, snake in my cake, bear in my hair, are going through my head. I would wait all night to listen to him, sometimes as late as 12 o'clock. Sometimes it would mean that I'd fall asleep in my fourth grade class, Mrs. Audizio, the next day. I don't know if I was learning any listening skills in fourth grade class, but I know I was listening to the radio and I was forming listening skills while listening to the radio on WPOP or Brad Davis on WDRC. As someone who started taking singing lessons at age two and a half, music was an important part of my life. So now 50 years later when I leave WPAA, I'll head up to do some karaoke at nine o'clock. When I hear radioactive, I think of radio effect on my formative years. In order to learn, one must do two things. They must listen and develop listening skills. When the Celtics played the Lakers in the NBA championship, you had to listen to it on the radio. It wasn't on TV. If you want to listen to your favorite baseball team, mine being the Yankees, you had to listen to them on the radio. You couldn't watch them on TV. They were only on TV once a week. There were only three television stations that we could watch. Channel 3, which was CBS, Channel 8, which was uh, ABC, and Channel 30, which was NBC. The Yankees were on WPIX on Friday night. The broadcast came by way of a little thing called a TV antenna. There was no cable. So to listen to my favorite team on the radio was a common practice. The game was described live, but your brain had to create the images and your listening skills had to be sharp. You needed an imagination to learn also. The images at the ballpark were not there for you to watch on television. As comedian Billy Crystal said, the first time he walked into Yankee Stadium, the colors seemed so bright to him. You see, just like in my household, Billy Crystal watched baseball in black and white. The Wizard of Oz was in black and white also. Not the first 20 minutes of the movie, but the whole thing. As far as music, when listening to music, the images in your head were created by your imagination. That remained constant. And then a thing came along called MTV. And music videos told you what images to see and think of when you heard music. Oh, that radio helped my listening skills and helped my imagination. Maybe because I had a bear in my hair, maybe because I had a snake in my cake, but definitely because I had some rats in my room. Snakes in my cakes. I am bothered by those snakes in my cakes. All those squirmy little snakes in my cakes. I can't stand those snakes in my case. Rats in my room. I am bothered by those rats in my room.